Hi, this is Gordon Stewart from TMS CAD Centre with a quick tip for PhotoView 360. What I have in this file is a camera. Okay, so if I want to create a render looking at a particular camera angle. Now I want to be able to apply materials to different parts and some of this process might involve me needing to spin the view, but I can't do that. Okay, so what I would need to do is just go back to my isometric, spin it round, apply my appearances and then carry on. If I want to get a preview of what's going on here, I can use the preview window or the integrated preview. But the real focus of uh, this tip is how to make the best of both of those worlds. To do this, we make use of viewports. So I split the viewport in two. So we've got two different views here. Okay, this view here, we'll have a look at it through camera one. This view here is just looking at it at any particular angle I wish. Okay, so. How does this relate to the preview of my render? Well, here we can change our view type. And at the top here, we see PhotoView 360's integrated preview option. So we can select that. And we get a great view of what the final render is going to look like. But perhaps we want to be able to tweak the appearance. So let's do this. Let's maybe go for, um, say, a candy apple red appearance, perhaps and we can go and apply that over here. Okay, so we can apply it to this part and we'll see the integrated preview over here update as well. Or we might decide that we'd rather have a blue color. So again, we can go and do this and we can now do it to the preview as well as to the original part. So we get the best of both worlds here. We can adjust the appearances by spinning the model around and getting access to all those different faces. Or if we want to be able to do it quickly in the actual preview space, we can do it there as well. So just a very quick tip on a, new, a different way to preview your renders in PhotoView 360 in SOLIDWORKS. This has been Gordon Stewart from TMS CAD Centre.